So the question, what supplement should I take, has been asked time and time again. There are benefits to almost all of the supplements on the market, but it can be confusing where to start, which is why we are having this webinar tonight. We're going to address several topics tonight. The four main ones are why do we need to be taking supplements at any age? Number two is what is pharmaceutical grade supplementation? You hear that a lot in the media and we're going to tell you what that is. Number three, what are the most important supplements that should be added to every single person's daily regimen? And number four, very excitingly, we're going to talk to you about this new anti-aging miracle. It is a supplement that is it actually helps prevent damage to your DNA. And so tonight we have Dr. Tiffany Jackson, naturopathic doctor and Cynogenics Carolina's nutrition specialist on the line. She's going to help us clear up these confusions and um, help us answer all of these questions. So welcome, Tiffany. Oh, thank you so much, Carrie. That was an awesome introduction. Um, and as a naturopathic doctor and a Cynogenics Carolina's nutrition specialist, this is really one of my favorite topics uh, to talk about. So I'm really glad we're doing a webinar. Um, there's also an old-fashioned argument out there that, you know, you can get everything you need from the food you eat. But what we're going to learn tonight is the reality that most people don't consume an optimal um, amount of vitamins and minerals in their diet alone. So there's strong evidence that we all really do need this nutritional supplementation and it can get real confusing, like you, like you said, which ones and which forms. So tonight I really do hope to provide some clarity out there for our listeners. Awesome. Well, you know, we have been talking, you and I, a little bit about how our grandparents didn't really take supplements and, and our parents, you know, didn't used to take supplements, but now they're talking about it. It seems like everyone's talking about it and everyone's on a multivitamin or vitamin D. And, and it seems to be the fact that we look back and think, well, why do we need to be doing it if they never did it before? What has happened? Why do we need to be taking these supplements now that they didn't necessarily need to be taking back then? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge thing. Um, and really what we need uh, to understand is our food supply has changed, and we need to begin to adapt um, to that. You know, over the past 50 years, the world's population has exploded, and with this has come um, an increased food demand, and this has led to over-farming of the land, and with that's come just a depletion of nutrients in our soil. So many of the fruits and vegetables out there, you know, they've been genetically engineered to yield more crops, and I mean, this sounds good in theory, but when you chemically alter this food, it not only loses many of its key ingredients, but also becomes foreign to our body. Um, there's a big study that was done um, a couple years ago by the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture, and it found that 43 of the most common fruits and vegetables uh, were significantly deficient in vitamins and minerals um, when compared to their values that they contained in 1950. And, you know, now it takes approximately somewhere where you look at the study, it's about 30 to, you know, 40 cups of spinach in order to get the same amount of iron that was present in one single cup grown back in 1950. So, you know, when you really look at that difference, it's just, you know, I mean, you, you have to supplement. Uh, Tiffany, are you kidding me? Are you telling me that the vegetable that people hate eating spinach, in order to get the same amount of vitamins and nutrients from that, I'm going to have to eat 30 times as much now as I did back then? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. The fruits and vegetables do not provide our required nutrition. And you can see from the slide, I mean, unless you're really exclusively eating certified organic, um, and kudos if you are, I mean, it is hard to get all of these vitamins and minerals in your food. So, you know, and also the way that we prepared our food um, also causes depletion um, in nutrients. So, you know, we're all overcooking our food, and this destroys a lot of the valuable enzymes in our food. Now our generation is all using microwaves, and, you know, there's a lot of studies out there showing how that can alter the structure of the food. Um, it pretty much destroys the vitamin and mineral content in it. And then food storage, we're all, you know, freezing and storing our food, and then the nutritional value is declining over that period of time. And, you know, we're all stressed. We have poor lifestyle habits, smoking, alcohol, caffeine, displacing and inhibiting um, absorption of nutrients, and we're all stressed, and our body requires more vitamins and minerals when we're stressed. So, I mean, I don't know how to put it any more clearly that if you're not supplementing now, you need to start because especially here at Cynogenics Carolina and our patients, when we finally get them on some good um, supplements, they really start to notice the difference. So the long and short of it is that 
the soil and crops that are grown here in the United States are not producing enough vitamins in the foods that we need to be eating, as well as the fact that we are destroying the nutrients in the foods by the way we're handling and cooking the foods themselves. Is that correct? Exactly. Oh my gosh. So I, I've heard you talk to talk about this with our patients, not as not in as much detail, but this is incredible. Um, it, are there medications also that can alter this? I mean, I hear you talking about the the lifestyle that we're living and that that can hinder our vitamin uh, consumption. But is there also a problem with certain medications that we take? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is one thing, too, that makes um, our program here at Synagenics uh, Carolina is really unique because our physicians and especially me as a nutrition specialist, we're trained and understand that certain medications can cause deficiencies and we actually perform a blood test to identify these specific vitamin um, and mineral, you know, status for, for, for our patients. And you can see from this slide, you know, there's a ton of different vitamins and minerals on different medications that can get depleted from your body. So it's really, really important that we replace these and, and at therapeutic levels. Um, so that, that's really the big picture when it comes to people's medications. And most doctors don't even take in consideration this. You know, I mean, the big thing now you hear on the news, statins, well, take your CoQ10, but there's some doctors out there that still don't even believe in it. So. It's quite amazing the difference in the turnaround in, in our patients we can see once we really take this into consideration. Well, Tiffany, I could say to you that I, I feel pretty good. I, I feel just fine. I don't, there's nothing really wrong with me yet. I mean, maybe I have some lower energy or something, but for the most part, I feel pretty good. How, how are having deficiencies in these vitamins, how does that affect your body? What what are some of the symptoms you see or, or what can happen to your body itself? Well, uh, I could actually do one whole webinar just on this topic because one of my favorite things is biochemistry. And I know the slide looks really confusing, and it actually is. It's extremely complicated, but I'm going to give it to you just really basic and simple. But from this slide, if you look at the little blue blocks, and they may be a little bit hard to see, but there are certain vitamins and minerals um, that are called cofactors that have to occur in your body for every single biochemical reaction to take place. Our bodies need this different combination of vitamins to perform different reactions that produce energy, that protect your cells from damage, that regulate cell and tissue growth. So these are very, very important what we call cofactors. So vitamins are cofactors. And the big thing to understand is humans are not able to synthesize most of their own vitamins. We've got to get this stuff through the diet. And we've already learned that we're not getting this through our diet. Most of our food's depleted. So if our body's not getting these vitamins and minerals, it leads to deficiencies. And there's tons of research out there showing the correlation between vitamin and mineral deficiencies and illness. And I'll give you a couple examples, diabetes or hypoglycemia. We see this over and over in our practice here. It is involved in chromium, zinc, and vanadium deficiencies. Cancer and heart disease, we have a specialized heart and stroke prevention disease program. We know that important minerals and vitamins that we need to have our patients on are selenium and copper. And then, you know, most everybody knows about osteoporosis and calcium, but, you know, nobody talks about the other need for magnesium and boron and all of these other vitamins and minerals. So, you know, I think we get kind of caught up in a lot of marketing out there, um, but really, you know, we, I can't even stress how specialized this is and, you know, just not self-diagnosing yourself, trying to make sure you get all of these right cofactors um, is not the way to go. Really just making sure you're working with the professionals that have this biochemical background and knowledge and clinical experience with what's going on with vitamins um, and mineral supplementation. Wow. Um, so these, I assume a multivitamin is going to help a lot with these cofactors and making sure that these reactions that are help, happening in our bodies are happening correctly. So what multivitamin should I take? I mean, there are so many out there. And you can even go online and say, I ha I'm, you know, this age and this gender, and, and what should I take? And it will spit out a bunch of different options for you. Is that the best thing to do? How do you know what to take? Well, first of all, going back, you know, looking at um, some of the special, specialized 
lab testing that we do um, with the blood work, I mean, a lot of our patients really, really love that they get that individualized, you know, snapshot of what's going on with their body. But, you know, when it comes down to the quality of vitamins and mineral supplements, there, there's two different grades. There's food grade and there's pharmaceutical grade. And really it boils down to the quality and the purity of the substance. And pharmaceutical grade supplements, um, they meet what's called the United States Pharmacopoeia Standards. And these standards require that these supplements must be in excess of 99% purity, containing no binders, no fillers. I mean, these are your top of the line supplements. And then simply put, your food grade supplements, they can allow capsules you know, to really only contain 20% of what they say on the bottle. You know, they may contain all the ingredients in the batch, but not per capsule. So really you don't know what you're taking when you're buying these things over the counter or, you know, at your drugstore or grocery store stores. So um, that, that's the big thing to understand is the food grade and the pharmaceutical grade. And we get that, we get that question a lot from our patients. So if I'm in the pharmacy and I'm going to go and, you know, I'm going to try and get a high quality supplement for myself, can I just buy a pharmaceutical grade from behind the counter there or, or just in the, in the pharmacy aisle no, somewhere? No, no. The, you know, when you're getting the uh, United States Pharmacopoeia standards of the 99% purity, I mean, this stuff really is only sold in physician's office and, and some selected, you know, compounding pharmacies, which we happen to work, you know, with one of the best in the country. So um, it, it's really, really tough to find this stuff unless you're working with the right physicians that understand, you know, what the what what the quality and the purity. Um, our 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 practice depends on this because we know when people are deficient, we have to give them the right amount of stuff in the right form and the most absorbable form to actually get a therapeutic response. So, you know, most of the stuff you're getting over the counter, and people take it and, you know, they'll take it for a couple of weeks and they don't even notice the difference in how they feel. And it's usually because it's just a cheap, you know, form. So are you saying that really if I have a bunch of supplements in my cabinet that I've bought at various times from various drugstores, various places, I need to get rid of them and go for a pharmaceutical grade? I, I challenge people to do that because most of the time when our patients do that, uh, they begin to notice differences immediately. And I'm just going to give you a quick example here because if you look at this slide, I mean, this is just what people have to understand. People walk into the stores, they walk into the pharmacies, and they're just buying regular old vitamins. In some cases, you know, they're looking at the back of the uh, you know, bottle, and they don't know the biochemistry or anything, and it says it has calcium in it. So I just want you to look at this x-ray here. And this picture, you know, you can see it on the slide as a picture of a very popular one-a-day vitamin sold over the counter at your grocery stores. And these are pressed tablets that have not absorbed. And the reason that they're not absorbed, and you can see them on this x-ray, is because it's a very cheap form of the calcium. And so if you don't understand the different forms that are absorbable, you're literally throwing your money down the toilet. I mean, as you can see, the, the capsules here taken two days before are getting ready to leave the rectum. So um, when I say throwing your money down the toilet, you, you really are. And just because the label says calcium, it does not mean that it is, you know, you're going to absorb all that calcium because most of these products out there, especially in your one a day, contain the least absor absorbable forms. So, you know, we like to use the most absorbable forms. Um, those are what are in our products, and those are what come in pharmaceutical grade products. So, um, you know, this picture, when I show this picture to patients, they always kind of gasp and say, oh, my goodness, I can't believe, you know, this is really what's going on. But, you know, you've got to understand it's a lot of, it's a big industry out there with, um, farm, you know, with certain companies and marketing and trying to get you to take their products. So you really need to do your research because a lot of it out there um, is, is not, it's not really even good for you. So you were telling me early about, earlier about a story uh, with a patient who came in recently with bags, literally two huge paper bags of the supplements that she loves to take. Tell, tell, the, tell the people that yeah. story. 
Well, it's, you know, we tell all of our patients when they come in for their executive health evaluation, empty out your, you know, your cupboard. I want you to bring in everything so we can go through. It's very educational. We're going to read the labels. We're going to show you, you know, why you need this, especially compared to your blood work, because, of course, you're going to get a huge blood panel of, you know, over 90 markers. We're going to be able to see if you have some um, deficiencies and what you're absorbing and that kind of stuff. So when they bring their supplements in, it's real fun to sit down. Well, this particular woman brought in two big um, grocery bag fulls. And when we compared it to, you know, her labs, you know, we found, you know, she wasn't absorbing the vitamin D. She wasn't um, absorbing a couple other, you know, minerals that showed up. And, you know, she was so committed and loyal to this stuff. She's been taking it for three and four years. She was, you know, she didn't want to let it go. And I said, listen, we're, we've just seen it. It's right here. It's black and white on your labs. We've got to get you off all this stuff. You've got to put it in a box, put it in your garage for about three months. You've got to start ours. And I talked to her earlier this week, and she, she just came in two weeks ago. And she said, she goes, I don't know what is going on, but I have more energy than I've ever had, and my hair and nails are growing like crazy. She's like, what's up with that? She's like, what in the world am I taking to cause this? And, you know, uh, she said her skin cleared up. She had had some adult acne that was going on, and she said her skin is just glowing and transforming. And I swear to God, it is, uh, you know, a big piece of it is she's getting this high quality supplementation in her and her cells just going back to that last slide that I showed you all those chemical reactions are now starting to take place and occur and her metabolism's working faster she's actually had lost about three or four pounds she's feeling better more energy you know nails and cells and skin is better so it's just awesome I get really excited about it and I just really believe you know this is a big missing piece and people are getting ripped off out there so well, yeah, <laughs> I think that is so exciting and wonderful that she was able to, to connect the two, that it is the supplementation that's making her feel better. So that's wonderful. So tell us what kind of supplements you recommend for just a basic program for people. What are the things that you got to take that, that are, are kind of no-brainers? Well, the um, biggest one is, of course, getting a good comprehensive multivitamin and making sure you have those minerals in there because most of the stuff out there on the market doesn't have good foundation of minerals. Um, fish oil is really, really important. And as a naturopathic doctor, probiotics and keeping your gut healthy. Um, I did a whole uh, webinar on probiotics. I encourage uh, the listeners out there, go back and listen to that one because the same thing, there's certain probiotics that are just a waste of money if they don't have the right encapsulated capsule to make it through the stomach acid, you're not going to get the good bugs into the gut. Um, so, you know, just making sure you're getting the right things. And I can tell you right now, if you're getting them from us, then there's no question about it. So Wonderful. those, those well, are the big ones. My multivitamin, fish oil, and probiotic. That's, and that's just laying the foundation. Then, you know, we're going to build on that. That's just because it's not in our food. So sure. then. Well, and, and you and I were talking a little bit about this earlier. And, um, I remember this patient, I mean, every, every you have to take everything so carefully and you really have to make sure that you're going to an expert because this patient who we had, gosh, I, I guess it's been six months ago, if he had taken this advice and started on a fish oil, or he would have been in trouble because he was taking medication that if, if he had added fish oil, it would have thinned his blood entirely too much and then he would have been in trouble and at risk possibly for some internal bleeding. So. What, what we're saying here is, I think, that all of these things are good general directions, but it's important that you get to an expert because there's no, no, no regular doctor would have known that this could have happened. And so it's important to come to someone like Synogenic Carolinas where there's an expert to talk about it. So, Yeah, I mean, I just think that that is such a huge point because most traditional healthcare providers out there, they really don't have any nutritional training you know, whatsoever. And, um, you know, we here at Synagenix Carolinas, we not only look at nutrition and nutritional supplementation, but we also look at, you know, hormone optimization. We also look at what's going on with exercise and your cardiovascular function. We look at what's going on with your lifestyle and um, stress and diet and, and everything. And, you know, it's real exciting to be in this field and, and to be the expert. So I just encourage people out there to stop, you know, trying to self-diagnose themselves and, you know, 
not know what they're taking and not knowing if it's not absorbing and really, you know, work with a professional and, and consider joining our program because we can make a huge difference in your health, um, especially just in this little pillar of nutrition and, and supplementation. Great. Well, Tiffany, we're getting real close to being out of time, but I'd like for you to touch a little bit on our newest and greatest supplement that um, is being touted as a, a, the age management miracle. So if you can talk about it a little bit. Yes, it is, and um, we are really, really excited about this one. Um, I actually think I may be doing a webinar on this just completely down the road. Um, it is called TA65, and what it is is it's protecting your DNA. So your DNA is, you know, a bunch of chromosomes, and at the end of that chromosome, you have a telomere. And as you age, these telomeres begin to shorten and they become damaged. And long story short, this uh, product, TA65, it actually slows the shortening of those telomeres. And in some cases and in research, they've seen it um, be able to lengthen it. So Synagenics Medical Institute has teamed up um, with TA Sciences. And we are now providing this product to our patients. And a lot of them are loving it. So it does a lot more. Um, with anti-aging and helping improve cognitive function and libido performance, it does a lot more. So I think we're going to have to just do a whole other webinar to educate everybody about this one. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is interesting. And I've seen a whole webinar on it, so, so I believe that. Well, Tiffany, thank you so much. I really appreciate your expertise. And stick around for some questions from the audience, if you don't mind. Um, uh, to all of you out there, I hope you've enjoyed this webinar. We, Cynogenics is definitely the, the go-to place for vitamins and supplement expertise. We have a, a big staff of medical experts who this is what they do, learning about supplementation and what foods to eat and how to better balance your body chemistry. And it's something that can't be done on your own. If you could do it, you would be a doctor, and, and, and it's difficult, and it's challenging and it's complicated. So Synagenics makes it easy. We are here to, to give you a simple answer on how to make your aging better and your life better. So with that, I'm going to let um, Brittany take over so that we can get some questions answered. All right. Thank you. Tiffany will now be accepting questions from the audience. If you would like to ask a question, please type it in the chat feature located on the meeting dashboard. And I just wanted to mention one more thing, that we are going to be here, if, if your question doesn't get answered because we are short on time, that we're going to be here in the office for a little while after this call, and we will be available to answer your questions. Or if you'd like more about our program, we're here for that as well. And Brittany will provide you with that contact information at the end. All right, Carrie, it does look like we do have a question. Um, the first one is, why do vitamin supplements have expiration dates? Are they safe afterwards? Um, oh, well, this is a good question. So the um, FDA actually requires that manufacturers list, you know, an expiration date um, by the label. And what that's doing is just to certify that the product will continue to meet um, the, the label claim of whatever's in it after that desired date. It's usually about two years. Um, and it just ensures uh, to the users out there that it has consistent results. So vitamins, they usually don't deteriorate into any kind of harmful or toxic substance as long as you're storing it properly. Um, and that's, you know, usually a dark, cool place. I'll just mention that. You know, you don't want to keep vitamins sitting up in your windowsill. You don't need to, you don't want them to be exposed to excess heat. Don't keep them in your purse, in the car. Don't, um, you know, you want to make sure you do store your vitamins in a dark, cool place. Um, sometimes a refrigerator or, you know, a cabinet um, is the best. So. You know, it's usually not best to take a substance after its expiration date, but it usually, you know, wouldn't be, like, toxic or harmful. So hopefully that answered that question. All right. It does look like we have another one, too. Um, what is stearic acid? Oh, good question. Okay, stearic acid, it's also, sometimes you'll see it on a bottle as magnesium stearate or mag stearate. And what it is, it's, it's, it's an essential saturated fatty acid. It's found in... Uh, vegetables and seeds and nuts, um, and it. What they do is when they're manufacturing the vitamins and um, the minerals in the in the laboratory, they use the stearic acid to put it in the machines so the machines flow smoothly, 
um, especially when they're making the tablet forms, and it helps the tablet also hold its shape. So, you know, it, it's really safe. It's, um, it, it's an ideal natural source to use, um, and it doesn't really interfere with the proper utilization of the, of the tablet. But what happens is a lot of the companies, especially when we were talking about earlier the food grade, they will use more stearic acid or magnesium stearate in that capsule or in the tablet than they do the active product. So, you know, it can get tricky. Um, you want to just make sure, you know, especially if you're reading the label, that that's not one of the top five or six ingredients, that it's the very last one that's just going to be a little bit of that um, in, in your supplement. So. Um, we have another one. You want to read that one? Yeah, um, we do have another one. It is, um, how can you tell if you are nutritionally deficient? Um, well, there's a lot of different ways. So one way that we do here is we do a specialized blood test um, that can look at your vitamin and mineral uh, deficiency status. There's also just ways to tell, um, you know, looking at your nails. If you have brittle nails and they're breaking off, you're deficient in minerals. I can tell you that. If your hair is not growing, if you have gray hair, you're probably deficient in vitamins and minerals. If you have dry skin, um, you're probably deficient in vitamins and minerals. If you have, you know, cataracts or any sort of, um, you know, degenerating disease, a lot of times that is nutritional deficiency. So I love our blood tests. Um, I think it, it, it's a good way to look at it, um, to, get a, to get a baseline. But then there's other ways just doing, you know, in our physical exam, we'll be able to pick up on some, on some things, too. Okay. Um, we've actually had a couple questions about this, Tiffany. What herbs are beneficial for prostate health? Oh, wow. Okay. We have um, a lot of men here in our practice, so this is a very, very common question. Um, you know, it, it depends on what your, you know, treating for the prostate, but one of the big ones out there is, is saw palmetto. Um, it, it inhibits the synthesis of growth stimulating um, the dihydrotestosterone, and it also lowers estrogen levels. So when we talk about prostate, the biggest thing first is to have a hormone workup with a doctor that understands what they're doing and can look at what's going on with the hormones, because a lot of times just getting those optimized and working balanced out can help, um, you know, if you have um, benign prostatic hypertrophy or, you know, an enlarged prostate. So there's a lot of other herbs out there. When it comes to these herbs, you really need to make sure, again, that you are using a pharmaceutical-grade herb because a lot of the extracts out there on the market, it's just weaker forms. They've been diluted, and they're not going to work. So you need to be using therapeutic doses to get results. Um, and two other herbs for the prostate that I love are pygeum and stinging nettle. So we use those with our patients. But it's, it's good to make sure you're working with somebody in a professional. You don't just want to go out there and buy something off the shelf and think that that's going to work. So, Okay, we do have another one. Um, What makes urine change color when I take a multivitamin? <laughs> oh, that's a funny one. Um, it is actually one of the B vitamins, and it's B2, which is riboflavin, and it's a water-soluble vitamin, and it actually becomes, it makes your urine become a bright, bright fluorescent yellow um, when it's consumed in relatively high amounts. So that's usually what we see um, when we see the yellow, the urine turning yellow, and it's not a bad thing. Uh, sometimes patients will call and say, you know, is something wrong? No, it's, um, it's a normal reaction, and um, it's, you know, if you have bright yellow urine, then you're getting a good amount of B2, which should be giving you a lot of energy. All right, I think that is all we have time for. For more information or if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact Tiffany Jackson at 843-724-7272, or you can email her at tjackson at cinegenics carolinas.com. You can also go online and register on our website at www.synogenicscarolinas.com. Thank and you, I'll Brittany. I just later. wanted to, um, wants to call in. Yes, and thank, thank you, Brittany, very much. I think it's, in closing, I just wanted to say that it is vitally important to have an expert analyze your current micronutrient levels in addition to the rest of your body chemistry, including your hormones, like testosterone and estrogen. An executive health evaluation at Synogenics Carolinas is key.
We are the leaders in cutting edge medicine, and if you want to age well, you need to call us today. And we're going to be here to answer your questions and to help you understand a little bit more about the process and how you can start feeling better today. The phone number here one more time is 843-724-7272, and we will be here to answer your questions and look forward to speaking with you. Thanks so much for tuning in.